In this installment of DIY Drip Hydroponics, we're going to be planting tomatoes and zucchini and peppers and iceberg lettuce. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make up our nutrient solution. I'm using a uh, commercial brand of nutrients and it uh, calls for 0.25 milliliters of uh, grow, bloom, and a micro solution. So when you're mixing nutrient solution what you want to do is make sure that you uh, uh, add the first type of nutrient and then you want to uh, mix up the container then you'll add the second and you'll mix that up and you'll add, mix the third and you'll finally mix that all up. You don't want to add the nutrient solution all at the same time otherwise nutrient solutions can affect each other and cancel each other out. Um, the water I'm using is an aged water. I uh, fill a gallon container, let it sit for a couple of days with the lid off that way any uh, chlorines in the water will bleach off, uh, bleed off. So here we are adding the uh, second nutrient solution and uh, 0.25 milliliters of this and then uh, we're going to mix this up again And here we are with the third uh, nutrient solution, and we'll give this a good mix up and add another 0.25 milliliters to this. Um, this is all like a real mild uh, nutrient solution at this point because we're going to be planting seedlings and we don't want to burn them with too much nutrient. Um, so the 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 0 0.25 is a real mild solution to one gallon of water. So now we want to test our uh, nutrient solution to see what type of pH we have to see if we need to adjust the pH up or pH down. So we'll take a small sample, uh, about half a vial full of this, and then we'll add an uh, indicator dye to it which reacts with the water and it will give us a uh, color that tells us what the pH is. And on seedlings we want to keep this between 6 and 6.5. Six and So now we'll shake this up and they'll compare it against the uh, chart on the bottle and in this particular case we're sitting right at six and a half so we're using rock wool and uh, the directions on the rock wool says to uh, pre-soak the rock wool before seeding so we're going to get this nice and saturated here So now that the rock wool is really saturated, we'll go ahead and drain these off. You just want to be damp. You don't want to be soaking or sitting in uh, nutrient solution. So we'll pull all these out and set them aside. And then we're going to take the nutrient solution and pour it back into the nutrient bottle.
Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to place the rock wool cubes back into the container. And once we get this done, we're going to start our seating. So we're going to start off with the Roma tomatoes, and we're going to place two seeds in each of the spots for the tomatoes. And have a pencil handy as it uh, helps out a lot to uh, get the seeds stuck down inside the rock wool and also to uh, bristle up the fibers of the rock wool to cover up the seeds. And then we're going to plant our sweet peppers the same way as we did the uh, Roman tomatoes. We're going to put two seeds in each hole and then we're going to use our pencil to cover the seeds up. And here we have the summer squash zucchini. And we're going to do the same thing, two seeds in each hole. These are a little bit bigger seeds, so uh, it takes a little finagling to get these into the uh, hole. Now planting two seeds in each of these holes, uh, we're going to do that just for the simple fact that we want at least one seed to grow. So as it grows, uh, we'll leave the bigger one and then we're gonna just snip off the littler one right at the uh, rock wool. And last but not least is the lettuce seeds, the iceberg lettuce. Um, these seeds are pretty small, so what you want to do is uh, get the tip of the pencil uh, moist, either uh, with the nutrient solution or some water. And then what you do is you'll just tap that onto the seeds, and it'll pick up a couple seeds, and just use the pencil to shove that down into the holes. Um, we're only going to have four spots for lettuce. Uh, it's going to be in between the taller plants because they don't require as much light. But I've got five here. I'm just going to pick the uh, best four to plant. And then if something happens, I'll have one back up. So normally the first thing to... Uh, start to sprout is going to be the lettuce. It doesn't take that long. Probably about three or four days the lettuce should pop its head up. Um, then the tomatoes should be after that with the peppers. And I would expect the zucchini to be uh, the third one up. So as these uh, get about maybe a half inch tall we'll be introducing them into the uh, hydroponic system. They'll stay in this uh, container until they get about half inch tall. So there's really no need to uh, mark what's in the tray at this point. I just take a sheet of paper and I'll label uh, all the different things to uh, make sure I know where it is. And I leave the rock wool in uh, a position that I can see, you know, 
the pattern and where my plants are planted. So at this point we'll add a little bit more nutrient solution to the tray and then we'll go ahead and cover this up and put it in a dark location for a few days and probably in about three or four days we should see some growth. So here we are three days later and uh, we've got sprouts. Just like I was thinking the uh, lettuce was the first thing to pop its head up and uh, like I said this is three days in. So if you have liked what you've seen go ahead and click on the like button. Uh, if you'd like to keep up on the uh, DIY drip hydroponic system uh, go ahead and subscribe and I'll update you whenever I have a new video come out. And uh, if you'd like to share it go ahead and click on the share button. Thanks and have a great day.